What's up guys, I'm Craig Mitch. Uh, oh no, actually, Craig's away in Dubai and I'll tell you how I know that. Have you seen some of the Instagram pictures that he's been posting? I have. Topless stuff, him basically pretending to be a male model like he's been paid by brands to wear clothes like that. Have you seen it? Yeah, unbelievable. This is the guy who had the gall to criticise Lewis Holtby for taking his top off. Craig. And he's blowing up the gram with all these pictures of his tan lines. Check them out guys, uh, we'll, we'll show you them. Unbelievable. Check You've them out. changed, Craig. Thing is, I'm not sure if he has changed. No, he was always like this. Exactly. Anyway, this is Spurverts, and may, that may not make us feel spurverted, but we're going to talk about the things that do make us feel spurverted. You know, excited about what it's like to be a Spurs fan at this particular moment in time. The first one I'm going to bring up, Anthony Marshall from Monaco. He's a striker. He's been likened to Woolwich's ex-player Terry Henry who was a quick oh. number 14. Do you remember Terry Henry? I do remember him. He was a good player, very good player. He used to score quite a lot against us, which was rather he depressing. He did, that was annoying. He's also in the Entourage movie in one of the best cameos I've ever seen. He's also now one of the worst uh, Sky Sports pundits I know. Sits on the fence far too much. Yeah. And uh, in general, I find him quite boring, if not slightly attractive, even from back in the day when he did sexy. the Renault. A little bit sexy still, though. But I would never say that about a Woolwich fan. So. It's the French, isn't it? Him and he's Hugo. not a fan either. He's a player, so I don't know what he's talking about. Anyway, we'll cut all that out, or we might not. Who knows? <laughs> Anthony Marshall from Monaco. Striker. Quick. Powerful. Potentially, in my opinion, from what I've seen on YouTube, which of course is always a definite thing, uh, a really good foil for Harry Kane. Be great. At this point, I'm starting to just go, let's just sign someone. Yeah. We're losing out on people who go into other teams, yeah. rival teams. I just want to sign someone. I just want to sign a striker. I'll take this guy from Monaco, give him a chance. How much are we bidding? 18.1 million pounds is the rumour. Apparently, Monaco have, uh, they have money worries because if you remember a couple of years ago, their oligarchs spent absolutely loads when they bought like Moutinho and a few other players that we were obviously interested in yeah. Spurs Ali didn't get. Uh, and now the oligarch has pulled out, and so they're willing to sell basically anyone. There you go. We'll take all of them. Why don't we take Berbatov while we're at it as well? Take Berbatov. We'll have him take back. all of them. Take the whole squad. So, Anthony Marshall, let us know in the comment section what you think of that potential signing. Hopefully, we might we might get someone. Speaking of potential signings, we talked about last week how we'd put a bid in of twelve million pounds for Danny Ings of Burnley. You like him, don't you? Like a bit of ink? I like I like Danny Ings. I'm not sure I do like a bit of ink. A sleeve of ink? I thought you must be I'm a sleeve sure. of ink. Kind I think of that might be Craig's thing, but it's easy oh. to get us confused, to be fair. Yeah, you do look very similar we look in a lot of ways. Similar, yeah. And you have the same mother, don't you? We've got the same, we've got the same mum, yeah. yeah. So, a bit of news for you there. Anyway, so, And dad. Yeah. And therefore, same grandparents. I mean, we could go on forever. Yeah. But most importantly, we've talked about the tattoos, but we haven't talked much about Danny Ings' transfer costs. So, if you remember, last week, Spurs put in a bid of £12 million for Danny Ings. Now, what's become clear if I'm reading between the lines correctly, is Danny Ings had already told Spurs he wanted to go to Liverpool, he was going to go to Liverpool. So Daniel Levy, aka Magic Man Chairman, thought, well, how can I stitch Liverpool up? AKA Liverpool, of course. Legend. What a legend. We'll put in this bid, and then when the when it goes to tribunal for Danny Ings, they have to pay more money. Amazing. How good is it's that? Classic Levy. That is vintage Levy right there. I love it. It's amazing. Always trying to show off Liverpool, my favourite thing that can happen. It makes me wonder, what do you think Levy would do if you were his daughter's first boyfriend and you turned up at the door? How low would he go, Rhys? <laughs> oh, God, it doesn't even bear thinking about. Do you think he'd get some kind of weapon out? I think he'd have... I, I imagine he's the sort of man who has bouncers <laughs> at his house. I imagine that he has a, I imagine that he has a hotline knuckles. where he could phone straight away to your bank manager and make you <laughs> insolvent and bankrupt straight away. Yeah. Well, why doesn't he just do that with Arsene Wenger? Why hasn't he done that? He's got so much power, I'm sure he could. Anyway, so Liverpool, it's looking like we'll have to pay between seven and eight million pounds for Danny Ings, whereas before, Burnley, it looks like, would have accepted just five. Mm. Sweet times, sweet times. We didn't get Ings, I'd rather Austin anyway, scored more goals in the Premier League. I and would Liverpool. Rather, I would rather Ings. No, Reese. I'd rather I don't want either, but. You want Anthony out the, Marshall? Out of the two, I'd take Ings. I want Anthony Marshall or Jackson Martinez. That would be good. Somebody apparently has uh, paid Jackson Martinez release clause today. His agent has said he will be gone from Porto this week, but There's hasn't no said who us. he's going to go to. There's no way that's it's us. It's something like 24.1 million. That would be, think that'll be Woolwich. I hate it. I hate if it's Woolwich. I hate it. Anyway, that is the end of part one of this week's Spurverts. Let us know what you thought in the comments section below. Uh, subscribe to the channel. 
uh, and uh, follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. And look out for part two of Spurbert, where Reese will be talking a little bit about things such as Christian Eriksen's wonder goal and Wilshire being a sulky little brat again. Okay, check it out. How exactly did you feel when you stuck it in the top corner at Wembley against Arsenal in the semi-final of the Cup in '91? 